Hey guys, how you doing? I'm going to show you how to fix a Mavic free hub. I think it needs some lubrication. How, how do I know that? Well, when I was riding my bike, when you have the wheel going, you're turning, everything's okay. But then when I'm freewheeling and just gliding, it's making a bit of a grinding noise. Wasn't the brakes, thought it was the brakes. It's the free hub. This is the cassette. We're going to take this off. I'll show you how to do that. And then underneath the free hub, we're taking that off and we're going to re-lubricate it. What are we going to need? For tools, we're going to need this and the chain whip to take off the free wheel. A few Allen wrenches, depends on your model. That'll take off the free hub. Some lubrication for the free hub. Gloves and a rag. Also some degreaser, I don't have any. I'm going to give it a good, good, good wipe and some lubricant. Okay, here we go. I did this video uh, about a year ago, but I've changed it because I had I was sort of new. And uh, yeah, the audio was too high. First thing you're going to have to do here is take off the rear wheel. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, you shouldn't be here. Uh, take it off. And this is the cassette. Uh, take the skewer off first. Uh, to take off the cassette, you're going to have to get a tool in there. So spin it off. Be careful. Watch these little spring things. They can pop away. Set that to the side. Now I'm going to take the chain whip tool. There's uh, also a socket wrench version. Uh, this is the one I have. Stick it in and put the chain whip on. Now I don't do a really good job of it here, but you get the general idea. I've done this a whole bunch of times. I was in a hurry. Put it on and crank it this way. If it's been on there for a while, this could be a little tight. There you go. That's the direction that it will come off. At this point, you can get rid of the chain whip and just spin it off uh, until you can do it with your hands, as you see here. Now, I should be wearing gloves, but whatever. I got some good hand cleaner. Now, when you take this off, I like to stick my thumb inside and just be careful that these things don't fly all, all over the place. Set them down. Now get two uh, Allen wrenches. Uh, these were five mils, I think, in my case. Anyways, just see whatever one fits. Uh, stick one on each side. So you'll need uh, two sets of Allen wrenches. And just spin it off. A little tight at first, but uh, yeah, all that's relative. Don't lose this part. Just set everything to the side as you're taking it off. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to take off the free hub. Now, be careful. When you're pulling it off, there's these spring-loaded things called pawls, P-A-W-L-S. See, I'm holding them with my left hand here. Now, I'm going to look inside, and how does this look? Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's been a long, long time. It needs to be, we're going to re-oil this. A light mineral oil, not a grease. Now, those little pawl things I was talking about, mine has two of them. They just pull off. Now be careful, they're spring-loaded. There's little springs in them. Let me see if I can give you a closer look. Okay, I'm going to set them on the rag. Pull them off here. Um, here's a closer look. Yeah, they're just kind of pushed on a little nub thing there. Now don't pull them off really hard. You might stretch them, that sort of thing. You can see them on the towel. There's a little spring that pushes on to the pole. Now, also, uh, in my case, the Kaiserium E-Lights, there's a uh, little washer in there. Just remember everything, take it off, and put them in some sort of order so that you don't you can put them back on the same way. Now, I don't have degreaser, so I'm just going to give it a good wipe. Okay, there's the pawls again. That's the little spring that goes on to that little bump. It just pushes on. Now, inspect them, of course. Make sure they're not bent or something strange. But uh, as you see here, they just push on and there you go. Push, push, push. I'm going to give them a good wipe, a good clean before I put it back on. Again, you've got things pulled apart. Just wipe everything the best you can. You can degrease it, let it dry, all that sort of thing. But I, I find that just a good wipe is, is good enough in this case. The key here is organization. Just make sure you're paying attention uh, to the order and the place of everything. There's not too much to take care of. 
Now you've got all this stuff pulled apart. Um, yeah, just give everything a wipe the best you can. Uh, old rags, new rags, whatever. That sort of thing. Common sense. Now, I'm going to put... This is actually a brake fluid oil. You don't need anything really specific. You can pay more money for the Mavic stuff. But it's not a grease. Grease is too thick. You won't get the rebound on the springs. Um, this stuff is super cheap. My LBS, that local bike station or shop or whatever you want to call it, they just gave me this for free, believe it or not. Um, yeah, just a brake fluid oil. A light mineral oil. Nothing super thick. You want it to be able to move quickly. Now what I'm doing here, a little trick I've learned is I just, you know, you don't need that much, but I just roll it around, okay, and it'll coat the whole inside of the, uh, the free hub body here. All right, see what I'm doing, rolling it around so I know every surface is covered, and then I'll dump it out on a shirt. Uh, you don't need that much oil in there, but that was one way I could make sure that everything was covered. Now I'll set it down in a safe place, not to collect dirt. Now I'm going to put the paws back on. Take your time on this one. This could be a little tricky, but nothing to be worried too worried about. Now I put the paws back on with the springs. I hold them in with my hand and slowly push the free hub back on. Now I sort of let my hands go away and I got it in the first take actually. Just give it a spin, make sure it's grabbing both ways. That's all that's the, the trickiest part to this, but you can't go wrong, just take your time. Well you could go wrong, but yeah. So I'm just going to put things back in on the order that I took them off. Put the bolt back in. Tighten them from both sides. And just the reverse process of, of taking them apart. It's actually clockwise, so it's a normal bolt in my case. Now, as far as tightness, you can check for recommendations, but just firm. Double check the uh, free hub like I'm doing there and yeah, it looks good now you've got the cassette off so this is a good opportunity just to clean them all off again you can use a degreaser here but I find a good wipe they're gonna be greasy again anyway and put them back on there's only one way to do it in the order that they came off the lock ring here make sure you don't cross thread it I like to do it by hand uh, at first to, to make sure that it's not going on the wrong way. And you don't need the chain whip on this point, just a simple clockwise tighten. And this one should be firm. Like I'm not talking super crazy, but yeah, nice and firm. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. And that's uh, good to go. I like to double check it here. Yep, yep, everything's back and cool. Almost good as new. Yeah, and uh, the sound went away. I think this is a Mavic thing, but uh, yeah, that's it. Just put a light oil in there. It tends to wear away, and uh, you'll get that grinding Mavic grind or whatever they call it out of your free wheel or free hub area. It's not that hard of a job. Some have three paws, two, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Put the wheel back on the bike. Go for a ride. It's a beautiful day. Anyways, my name is Scott. I hope I helped you out or something good. Anyways, uh, please like and subscribe down below and uh, thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.